Oh, I'm starting my tutorial off with this much hair, but hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a sit down makeup get ready with me in a while. Um, today just so happens to be my birthday, so I turned 23 today, which is so wild. Um, I was 21 when we went into lockdown, and now I'm 23 all of a sudden. It's like, where did the time go? But I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm gonna do my makeup because I feel like I have a lot of new products that I haven't shown you guys quite yet. Um, it's just gonna be, I don't know, I don't really have like a specific look in mind yet, but we're gonna see where it goes. Um, I'm gonna start, all of my makeup is just on this side, so if you see me looking that way, that is why. Um, I'm gonna start with just putting my hair in a headband just so that nothing gets in my hair and we're gonna get right into it I'm gonna use my Aven Hydrance Riche Cream it looks like this this is one of my favorite favorite moisturizers ever and I love this because it just retains the moisture on my face all day I just kind of lather that all over my fingers. Next up is going to be my sunscreen. This is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios. I just got a new bottle, um, but this is like one of my favorites. It just gets a little bit messy, so I have to kind of like lean forward just so that I don't get any on my outfit. And then I just try to get it as quickly as I can. It's a very like fluid found, um, not foundation. What am I saying? Why do I keep forgetting the word? It's a very fluid, sunscreen so i just love to get that all over and then since i'm wearing like a low cut top today i just need a little bit of this on my neck shoulders i'm like not used to the sun anymore so i'm <laughs> just trying to get that all over i feel like i've realized that i am so incredibly blessed with this life that i have and the people that I have and this is the first time in a really long time where I just want to say that I've been really content with myself and I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that I'm kind of just letting things happen the way that they happen but yeah I feel so nice like coming into this birthday and I feel like I haven't had that for the last honestly two years <laughs> So my next um, and last step, I guess, for skincare would be my Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. I just love using this. I put it on top of my sunscreen. Sometimes I put it underneath. doesn't really matter to me. But I like just to just take my ring finger and I go in very gently because your ring finger is the least abrasive out of all the others. It just really prevents any further damage and now that i look like a glazed donut which is precisely what i want i'm gonna go in with my foundation my favorite it's been my favorite for a while but i didn't use it for my everyday makeup tutorial that i posted like four months ago it's a giorgio armani um luminous silk foundation and this i use a shade number four Obviously, the weather is storming up and I tan quite easily, so I'm probably going to be a 4.5 or 5 soon, soon enough. And then with that, I just like to put it on the back of my hand and then I take my finger and I kind of just dot it all over my face. And then I take my favorite Morphe M439 brush and I just blend that all over. That is also why I like for my hairline to just be up like that. That way I can just really blend it in. Mind you, I'm also using just my phone's camera as a mirror right now, which I probably need to change that real quick. But I'm just going to blend the rest in with my little beauty sponge. I stopped using my beauty blender and I actually really like this one. It's just an elf sponge. It was literally like $5.00 but it works really, really well. So I think you guys can see the coverage that the Luminous Silk gives me. I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. This one, again, it's just a little bit more full coverage because we're gonna take photos later. And so I just want a little extra coverage than I normally would. 
just missing a little bit of a stripe right there. And I like to just let it sit for a hot second. In the meantime, I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of cream contour. This one's my oldie, but such a goodie. It's the Soleil Tan de Chanel. I have so much fingerprints on it, it's kind of embarrassing. I have this like flat foundation brush. It looks like this, it's from Real Techniques. This is a 205 brush. I really, really like this brush. And I just swirl my product in. I'm gonna go in a little bit higher than where my natural cheekbones are. It just kind of packs my face and lifts it up even more. And then I look crazy. I'm gonna use my sponge. And I think one of the things I've just learned from watching a lot of different makeup artists on um, YouTube is just the fact they really, really like to blend in their products. Before I go in with my brows, I'm gonna take this like little brush just like a blending brush this one's also for morphe and i'm gonna start to just kind of disperse my concealer all down my face like that i do that and that this just kind of highlights your nose and just makes it look a little bit more pop in just the brow ultra old <laughs> this is the brow ultra ultra slim whoa i don't really change my brow shape i just enhance what i already have i just have very sparse eyebrows yeah i just do like underneath and then i extend my tail out because i feel like my eyebrows end very short bought a new eyebrow brush this one is from patrick todd still in the package so you guys can see it's so new but i'm just gonna use the angled end of this and just drag the product to my desired brow shape. My eyebrows look good now. I'm gonna go in with my sponge and now that my concealer is basically like cement on my face, I'm gonna start to blend it out. Today, I feel like being a little extra extra, so I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty um, Loose Face Powder. This gets really, really messy, but I use the shade Butter, and I'm going to bake underneath my eyes. I don't do this step every single day just because, obviously, I don't really go anywhere. I just wanted to make sure that my makeup is really gonna stay on, so I like to just kind of press this underneath my eyes and then I also kind of draw a little bit of a line on the side like that. I'm gonna go back to my brow for a hot second and I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta for brows. I have finger pins everywhere, I'm so sorry. Um, it's just like a brow soap basically, it looks like this. I have the tinted one, so this is really cool because it makes it look like you have supermodel bushy brows, which I obviously don't have but this product helps me look like I do. So what I do with this one, I literally just take my, any setting spray works. You can even just use water. This one's the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I just like to do one spray of that. Just get the product a little bit wet. That kind of just helps to activate the product. And I take the spoolie end of my brush, which you can tell I've been using product on this, but I just like to kind of swish it around just get a little bit of that product up there and then I'm gonna do so you guys can see a little bit better I like to do the front of my brows and this just helps to really keep my eyebrow hairs up if you don't have this product you can also use um, soap or you can also just use like hair gel next up is going to be my eyes so I think I'm gonna use this NARS palette. This is the Extreme Effects eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna press in a little bit of powder on my eyes really quickly. I'm just gonna take this Chanel powder that I have and I'm just gonna run it along my lids. This is just gonna act as a base. You can also just use concealer um, or eyeshadow primer obviously but if you have like a little bit of an oily eyelid you can also just use face powder and this basically just helps to keep your eyeshadows staying put a little bit better just so that they don't 
slip and slide around very simple i'm just going to use this gold shade right here mix it a little bit with this and then also just get this on my crease so i'm gonna go and pack in some of like the shimmery shades so i'm gonna use i think this bronze one first and i love how pigmented these nars colors are i just want to add a little bit more bronze elements to that so i'm going to use this cheek stars palette from benefits basically like a trio i'm going to use the hula bronzer here and just blend the shades in now curl my lashes i'm going to use my shuyamura eyelash curler this is honestly still the best um, I've gone through different eyelash curlers, but I constantly go back to this one. Love, love, love curling my lashes. This is probably one of my favorite steps to my whole makeup routine. I just bought this Gucci mascara. It's called the Lash by Lash Buildable Volume. Actually, you know what? I'm going to prime my lash. I lied. I'm going <laughs> to prime my lashes first. This is the Voluminous Base from L'Oreal. And then I'm going to go in with the Gucci so this one's just like a white um, lash primer. It just helps to keep your lashes like more volume and just kind of gives the illusion of thicker lashes as well. Then I'm gonna go in with my Gucci mascara. I have not tried this yet, so we will see. But the bristles look like this. They're like a silicone bristle. And I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna let my lashes dry. I'm gonna use the Cheek Stars palette again. And this NARS, um, why do I keep saying NARS? This MAC Duo Fiber brush. Just get that in the hula shade. And just do this. Take this brush and just blend out all of that. Go in with a powder brush and just sweep off the powder from underneath my eyes and then just dust any product that I have on my forehead. Just keeps my forehead a little bit more matte, less shiny. But Ooh, I like how my makeup's looking so far. We're going to use this Benefit palette right here and I'm going to take the shade Sugar Bomb. It's like a quad just like to swirl my brush around. And I like to go up for my blush and then kind of into, so you do like a semi-circle shape. I love how pigmented this blush is. Do a light sweep over the nose. Last step to my face before we move on to lips, it's just gonna be a little bit of highlight. This one's from Too Faced. I love this package. It looks like a little jewelry box. And this is called the Fancy Pink Diamond Highlighter. Looks like that. And I'm just gonna use my fingers for this. So I just like to go a little bit up on the higher point of my face. And then I just also just use my finger to blend that out. I think I'm gonna go in with No Angel. It's my newest nude lip color. It looks like this. So it's a little bit more beige than brown, I wanna say. And then I'm just gonna go in directly on my lips. Yeah, that's a good color. Ooh, yes, yes, that looks so good. And then my last step is just going to overline my lips a little bit. And I'm going to use my favorite Charlotte Tilbury. I just sharpened it so it's really nice and sharp. And I'm just going to kind of overdraw my lips just very slightly. I should probably stop talking while I do this step, but that is the look, you guys. This is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you have an amazing, amazing day, night, wherever you are. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.